Hi friends, welcome to the Stamping Imperfection YouTube channel. If you aren't a subscriber, I would love to have you click that bell to subscribe and um, get notifications every time I upload a new video. I'm Kim and I'm very excited to be playing with the Hedgehog Hollow June card kit. You can see um, we always get stencils. This month we got three layering stencil sets. You can see the sunglasses, you can see the um, the shooting stars or the fireworks, and you, you also saw that flag one. Then we always get two stamp sets, a nice big set with lots of fabulous images. I love gnomes, so you know I'm loving this one. And I think these are really fun images. I don't have anything like this. We also always get a smaller stamp set, a four by six stamp set full of sentiment. So that's gonna be fun to play with too. There's always patterned paper in here. And one of the things I like about this card kit is that it's got 12 sheets of, of double-sided um, patterned paper. And they tend to come in a variety of sizes this month they look like they're five by seven maybe so you can make nice big cards with this and i like that there's only 12 sheets in here like i i have another card kit that i get from a different company and they put two packs of patterned paper with 48 sheets in each one and i'm going to be canceling that card kit because it's too much patterned paper i love the card kit but that pattern paper is building up on my shelf. I cannot use 96 pieces of pattern paper in one month. So it's, it's too much. And I love this. I can use 12 sheets. And even if I only use nine, if I'm saving three, it's not building up really quickly. So um, plus I don't hesitate to, you know, bundle up my... Um, smaller amounts of scraps and donate them as card kits and stuff like that. Now, one of the things I really love in this kit is they included a beautiful set of ephemera. And by the way, pardon my hands, I am in the middle of, um, I'm redoing my kitchen cabinets. Um, so I decided that it would be most cost effective if I did it myself. So I'm removing the thermal foil, their thermal foil cabinets, which is like MDF covered with um, this plastic stuff and it's like glued on. So I'm using my heat tool to remove that thermal foil plastic and then I'm painting my cabinets white. And they're turning out beautifully because as crafters, you know, we love to take on projects like this. So I am super excited about this ephemera. And um, so, by the way, I do apologize for my hands. I hope they're not too distracting. So I decided to sort through this because I was too excited not to open this package. You know, I mean, how much is, how great is something that you have to open immediately? And already I'm seeing that I have lots of things I can use in a scrapbook layout or a traveler's notebook layout. And there's lots of title potential there, fun images, and I decided I want to keep the flowers, the stars, and I love the birdhouse. Love, love, love the birdhouse. So I pulled out the pattern paper and decided I would pick a couple of sheets for that as well. You can see these are double-sided. They've got a nice glossy shine to them. They're good heavyweight cardstock. I love these. I love the... Um, old look to them because it almost looks tea dyed. I think it's a really fun finish. Um, any of anybody else who was <clears throat> alive, excuse me, during um, 1976 bicentennial celebration, the entire year was red, white, and blue. And it was just fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, so I just love the I love the old look to that because that was a long time ago now. Good gracious. So I went ahead and I cut four card bases. So I cut them at four and a quarter by 11 and I will score. I actually, I'm just going to fold them in half and use my bone folder. I pulled out a piece of red. This is the only red I have in my cardstock right now or my cardstock stash. Um, and 
I love this color of red. It's my favorite red. So I'm trimming down two pieces to three and three quarters by five. And I'm going to pick two of the patterns of this paper that I kept out. And um, I'm going to cut those down to three and three quarters by five. So that will actually give me four background pieces to use on my cards. So I'm just trimming these down and I really love this color combination. I think it's really fun. Now my red doesn't really match the red in the paper. I'm okay with that. It actually matches the red in the ephemera pretty well. And um, I like the green in the ephemera and some of the ephemera pieces has a little bit of green, which I think goes nicely with that deep red that I picked. And it is the only red I have, so I don't have any choice. So once I got the card bases folded and everything cut, I went ahead and used my scrapbook adhesive. Um, I love this tape runner. It's an easy runner grand. And um, I, find that I can pick I can pick up and reposition this paper if I want to and I feel like I often need to lately. I don't know I feel, feel like I can't get anything straight lately. I never used to feel that way. So I did go ahead and put my um, card backgrounds. I'm considering these my card backgrounds on my paper and I'm going to keep these cards simple. They're going to have an ephemera focal point because the ephemera is too pretty not to use on some cards and then they'll have a sentiment and um, that's what my plan is in my head right now so and um, you'll notice that I'm kind of using one of my go-to um, card layout designs and here you can see that doesn't that look great now I'm looking at the sentiments I always like to see a strip sentiment. These are really fancy sentiments, so I'm not going to be able to cut them into a strip. And um, they'll either have to be square or circular, or I'll have to fussy cut it round. Not my favorite way to use sentiments. I really like strip sentiments or things that are already um, pre cut or something that has a die that goes with it. Like, I like that. So I'm putting this up on some foam. I like it. It's it's clean and simple. I'm just going to make sure it's straight. It's looking a little crooked. So I'll adjust that and play with it a little bit. And I love, I just love that. And then I know I want to place my three stars down and I'll pop those up on some foam dots. These are also scrapbook adhesive dots. And um, I'm trying out the, this was like a multi-size pack. I don't love the circles. I feel like there's a lot of waste there and I'm going to have to cut apart all the edges and I really prefer squares or things that don't have any waste foam in between that I have to use up. I mean you can still use all the foam it's just that you have to cut pieces apart which I guess is okay because you have to have some smaller pieces in some places anyway. So I'm just kind of staggering the hearts. This might look kind of pretty with uh, a white gel pen detail with some dots going from one star to the next and a little meandering path across the card. Um, I always think white gel pen details are very whimsical on a card. So I always like adding them. So that might be something you want to add here. And I decided to use the flowers for my focal points on the cardstock ones. Now, um, if you find this to be too busy, you could actually uh, take a piece of scrap cardstock and cut out a big circle and put the circle behind it. You could use vellum behind them. I actually just like it directly on there because there's enough of a white border around it that I feel like it pops nicely. I really had trouble picking the last one here because I love them all. I love big graphic florals. Love. My carpet in my living room and bedroom is a dark green with red and different shades of red and pink and cream and a gray blue color it's beautiful uh, big florals like i love it's a beautiful carpet and um so i have florals all around me 
So I pulled out my Vegas Strip blue ink and I decided to go with the God Bless America. I have a like this strip of scrap paper I just found in my stash. So I'm cleaning this stamp off and I'm going to move that stamp down. And I'm going to stamp four of these with this Vegas this Vegas strip blue, which actually works beautifully with the um, the papers and the ephemera. I thought it was very nice. And you can see I've got some blue crown jewel gems. Those are Scottish thistle, which I got a very long time ago, or Scottish blue. Um, and I really like them. They're very tiny compared to most of the crown jewel gems. Most of the crown jewel gems seem a little bit bigger. But I only use a few crown jewel gems at a time. So, see, I'm having trouble deciding where I want to put this. It's just not working for me. Like, I know, I like, I look at the um, cards that the rest of the design team uses, and they just, like, they just put those sentiments right down, and they, oh, their cards look fabulous. I don't feel that way here. Um, I always feel like I need something to anchor it. So you can see I pulled that piece of red cardstock back in and um, I'm going to use that leftover strip that I had. And you can see I've already put a blue strip on that. I pulled out a piece of scrap paper, cut off a one half inch strip and added that blue strip to my card. And then I used that to anchor my sentiment. I don't know why in my head I love the way that looks like to me it looks like a finished card that's a detail I really like so you can see I'm adding it here I'm popping up the sentiment on a foam dot and I'm plunking it down and for the florals I just put it in the center you could put it off to one side if you wanted to um, I just felt like it needed to be in the center on these cards I haven't had my coffee yet, so that may have something to do with it. So I finished them off. I also put a strip on this one as well. And all I did was really um, put, I really snipped it off. So it's just tucked under the right and the left side. It doesn't actually go all the way across the card. I put three or five crown jewel gems on each card and I just used a little liquid glue. Here's my card set. I had a really nice card set. I love them. I love the way they turned out. They were quick and easy, simple materials, and bing, bang, boom, you've got a card set done. You can gift these, add some envelopes, and tie them with a ribbon, and you can use them as a gift. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I'll put all the links below, and I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.